How do I start on this video? I tell you, I had more problems making this video that I almost ditched the whole idea. As usual, I'm not very good at how-to videos, and so part of the time I got stuck, I forgot to film, I had a mishap in between, and as you can see, the stability on the camera is horrible this time. I almost ditched this video and didn't make it. If you can forgive all those problems that I had and the stabilizer not working in the camera, you can watch this video. If it's annoying, just delete it and move on. Here's a video that I made on taking the plastic cladding off of your Astro van. Hope you enjoy it. Well, hey there everybody on the Hanging with Herky crew. So I'm out here wrenching on the Astro again. Um, got a big trip planned here for next year, so this summer is it for, I have to make sure that there's, um, you know, all these things that I wanna get done are done because next year I won't be able to get them done. So uh, one of the things I was thinking about is the cladding, the plastic cladding on this uh, van. Let me show you. So right here, as you can see, they have this uh, cladding that's all around the edges of the, of the van. Um, I think I want to take this off because, you know, I am an old man, but I don't have to drive an old man looking van. I think they just make it look old man like. So anyway, I'm going to take it off. The other thing that I don't like about that uh, cladding is I can't see what's going on behind it as far as rust goes. Now, uh, when I bought the van, I did a thorough inspection of rust and over on the other side by the sliding door, there was uh, a section there that had rusted out pretty well. I knew that buying it. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to fix it on this project. I'm going to fix it too. So I've got started on this. Nancy came out and said, hey, you need to be videoing that so other people might be interested in it. So, hey, let's walk over here to the other side. So you can see right here, um, this is where the cladding was at. The finish underneath the door is perfect. I mean, I couldn't ask for it better. It's no rust or anything like that. Uh, although the rocker panel underneath it uh, is rotted out pretty good. Uh, I went ahead and ground that out. Let me show you. So I went ahead and ground out this whole spot here where this metal was all rotted uh, on the doorstep here by the sliding door. Uh, I went ahead and painted it black just so uh, I don't get any surface rust on it uh, in the meantime before I uh, get it fixed. But I'm, they make preformed rocker panels that you could put in there and weld, but I really don't think I need that. I think all I need to do is because it's pretty square uh, the way it is, is, is I'm just gonna buy a piece of metal and uh, tack weld that in there and then uh, finish it off. I think it'll look all right. It's uh, rotted out on the back side a little bit, but not too bad, I'll show you. Yeah, so hopefully you can see this here. There's a hole right here where this has uh, been rotted out, but this part is pretty uh, substantial. It's not uh, rusted at all. So there was a uh, plug right here for, um, you know, being able to uh, get behind the rockers. Uh, and I think it started there. Um, and there was a plastic cladding over this. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna grind this out the rest of the way and I'll weld a piece in there. But for today, I'm just going to take the cladding off the outside. All right, this is one of the things I want to show you is on this cladding here, there's like a piece of really cheap metal that's behind it. And uh, it's not part of the frame of the car. It's just uh, gives the plastic rigidity. And these things just rot out. Um, the, the thing I don't like about them is they're screwed into the actual rocker panel right here. And I think what happens is that can cause the rust to migrate uh, into the actual frame of the van itself. So we're going to pull off these rockers and um, probably and just discard them. I'm not going to keep them and uh, everything. You can see this is this is bad. So let's get going. This plastic panel, the skirting that was on the sliding door, as you can see behind here, I mean it's perfect. There's no rust or anything. So I'm fortunate there. Uh, so I pulled it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, pull the cladding off of the whole van, and then I'm going to come back with a solvent or something and get this uh, uh, foam slash adhesive off of here. And I think it's going to look just fine. Let's get out a good way to pull these off. Um, I guess I could have YouTube it and see if somebody else has done it, but I didn't. Uh, when I pulled this one off, I just got a hold of it and got started. And, it came right off, so that's what my plan is on this one.
So that's coming off pretty easy. Um, I can see that there's some adhesive on the lower portion here. Um, I'm just going to keep pulling on it, but it's coming off. One of the things I'm noticing is like, man, there's a, just a ton of dirt built up in here. And then, you know, what's going to happen is moisture is going to get in there and cause that to rust. I don't want that to happen. So anyway, I'm going to keep pulling on this and let's see. Voila. Came off pretty easy. Uh, let me go get a pair of channel locks and we're going to take this off. What I did on the sliding door was I just grabbed a hold of this stuff and pulled really hard. And it came off. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm doing here. Um, it's amazing this stuff stays on here that long. Okay, see what I'm talking about? These metal strips that they've put in here, just really, if it was galvanized, it, it wasn't done very good. But uh, man, that can cause a lot of problems, I can see. So we're gonna pull this off of here and uh, take a look. But I just wanted to show you uh, before I took it off what it looked like. Okay, so right here you can see there's a seven millimeter holding this plastic piece on which goes on back here. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Of course, the mud flap is going to come off with that anyway. I want to take those off anyway. I don't like them. Uh, put something else there. But anyway, let's get this pulled off and see what we find. Okay, one more look at this piece. Uh, you can see it's just ate up. Uh, so glad to get that out of there that's going to cause some extra problems uh, one of the things that I didn't expect was that this is riveted let me show you so this piece is riveted on there and then I wasn't I wasn't expecting this uh, to be open here so uh, I'm gonna look online and see what some of the other people have done I don't know if I need to cut this plastic off and reform it so that you know so I don't have this look here but uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it. We will get that handled. So what I did right now is I made the decision. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on there for right now. Probably have to trim it up a little later on. I got to figure out what to do with that. Uh, I don't like the fact that it sticks out that far, but then again, I didn't like the big gap. You know, what I'll do is I'll get on the Astrovan sites on Facebook and see what everybody else has done to try to kind of clean that up but we're just gonna cut this off for right now and keep moving on so as I was saying it's a good thing that I took this cladding off now when I bought this van you know I could check the back side and I didn't see any bad rust here but you can see this cladding was covering up this rust this hole here and so um, you know I'm gonna grind this out of here and fix it it's not too bad so I'm pretty happy about that uh, there's some surface rust here problems where the um, where that uh, that piece of metal that went that held the plastic in place created some problems but I'm going to go ahead and clean that off at a later date here uh, in this week and uh, you know I'll repaint that and everything so good thing I pulled this off and checked it because uh, got some cancer going on here and I've got time to stop it before it ruts out the whole uh, rocker panel I want to stop here just a second and show you um, if you take a look at these astrovans right here 
is where they're always rusted out. You'll see like a big rot place on all these Astrovans, that up on the front quarter panels. But um, this is solid there. So I'm fortunate, uh, got no rust there. This van was uh, mainly in Southern Indiana and uh, driven a lot on dirt roads. Thus, it's just full of uh, dust everywhere. Uh, the guy sold it to, that sold it to me said uh, it was on a 17 mile dirt road commute every day. So, um, you know, the good thing about the dirt road uh, is they don't put uh, salt on the agricultural roads in Indiana. So that uh, saved this van a lot of rust. Uh, the bad thing is, is it was driven on a dirt road and it just beat the suspension all out of this thing. So I've replaced uh, the majority of the suspension in this van. So uh, I would much rather do that than repair rust. So thankful for its past life. All right, here we are, friends. We uh, got all this cladding pulled off and uh, we drove up to the old uh, car wash in town here. We only got one car wash because I got a small town I live in. As usual, Herky took a ride along with me. I got him chained in here so he can't get out. But um, let me walk you around the van and you can take a look at what we've done here. So you can see I've got all this cladding pulled off and it's just really dirty under there. There was so much mud and dirt. Uh, it's just fortunate not to find a whole lot of additional rust. So, um, really happy about this uh, so you might have heard me talk a minute ago about this gap that's in here uh, I got on the Facebook page for all the Astro van nuts and uh, just threw out the question and I guess what they're telling me is that I can run down to pull apart and get this piece off a cargo van um, and fill in this gap so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now I just got some duct tape holding it up but we're gonna wash this thing and get this all off and then uh, the next step will be uh, to take this adhesive off with some goo gone or some kind of solvent so let's get started washing this van and getting this mess cleaned up hey everybody all right new day here once again, I'm down at Disney World, or that's what I like to call it. Uh, Nancy stayed home this time. Uh, she had some stuff to do, but uh, I'm down here pulling parts. I found an all-wheel drive 1999 Astro. I was wanting to pull the drive shaft out of it, but the drive shaft's just as bad as the one I got, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, you know, I've got some trim parts I gotta find today, and uh, you know, some other things I'm looking for, so. You know, I could kill a whole afternoon here, so let's look around and see what we can find. Okay, after a lot of struggling around here, I actually found what I think I'm looking for. This is off a 95, and I have a 99. I pulled the skirt off the other side. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try these because uh, it's hard to find one of these Astros that doesn't have the cladding on it like I didn't have a different skirting. So I'm going to pull this off and use that, but... You know what? One of the things I'm really excited about, let me show you the score I made. So over there, I found an old G20, like a 1988. And uh, on the back of there was this ladder. I'm hoping that I can take this ladder and modify it for uh, my Astro. I held it up to the Astro and it fits pretty well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab that while I'm here. Okay, I walked out of there. 36 bucks. I got everything I needed. Came out to the van and looked. Those trim parts fit perfect. So uh, I'm going to get back to the house and get those painted and get those on. Really happy. Good scores today with that ladder and this new spare and everything. So let's get back to the house. Okay, this is the part of the video where things got really complicated. I actually started the van up after this, got ready to leave something didn't seem right and i looked and the oil cooler line was leaking tremendously and oil was running out now i have replaced the oil cooler lines in this thing somehow i must not have got it tight or whatever which is a tragic mistake because i'm telling you you can ruin an engine really fast like this so 
as you can see from some of my photographs here, what we decided to do is like, I am not gonna drive this thing home and risk r losing the engine. So uh, went ahead and called uh, my good friends at the tow truck company and had them come and tow the van home. Got home, I had it fixed within 15 minutes. Uh, but I tell you what, paying $100 to have it towed was much better than worrying about ruining the engine. So that's what we did. And uh, I, you know, I'm glad I did and haven't had any problems since. Okay, because things didn't turn out the way I wanted them to turn out as far as the videoing goes, you know, I thought I'd run out here really quick and show you what the finished product looks like. So uh, I went ahead and put this bed liner uh, material around the wheel wells and on the lower half. Uh, it's got a rough texture, just like you would on a bed liner on a truck. And um, it turned out really well. I'm really happy with that. Um, just exactly like we wanted. Now, because the line between the black and the white was not crisp enough for us, I went ahead and got some red pen striping and put that on there. And I think it really set it off really nice. You know, I also wanted to take a second and show you this here on this doorstep that was uh, all rotted out and had a lot of rust on there. So I welded in a new rocker panel and I just went ahead and fiberglass that over the top of it just to smooth it out and make it look good. I am really pleased with the way it turned out. It's uh, done really well. So the last thing I did was uh, I bought this stuff called fluid film and I was able to coat all the underside of the van with fluid film and in the areas that uh, are prone to rust, like here, um, you know, where the fender well meets the um, bumper, I was able to coat that. And then um, I went ahead and shot fluid film in the channels all around the van. So, um, you know, I'm pretty confident that I had the rust under control here. Uh, it is a 22 year old vehicle, but I think that this will, uh, this will help it immensely. So, um, yeah, it turned out really good. And, um, you know, I, I hope you like it. Uh, we're happy with it the way it is. And I think this is just the way we're going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed just watching me tear the cladding off that, uh, if you have cladding on your van, it's just, it's just my thought that, uh, it's better to take it off so you can expect, uh, underneath it. But, uh, yeah, the, the Astro is really coming along and, uh, just can't wait to take it out on the next big trip.